Hello race fans and welcome to Oaklawn today. Nancy Holtis joined alongside Vic Stauffer. We are at the Derby Bar here on the first floor of the main line. A great place to come hang out during the races. You never know what or who you might see. You might even see a celebrity because this guy was on NCIS New Orleans. Well, his voice was anyway. You loaned your voice for a race call. You're a celeb, star a, on the Walk of Fame. I'm a network big shot. <laughs> The best thing about NCIS New Orleans is that you didn't see my face. You just heard my voice. It was a lot of fun. I did the VOs in Los Angeles, and the show emanates out of New Orleans, and didn't get to meet St Scott Bakula or any of those people. But, boy, it was a lot of fun and uh, even more fun to watch uh, the show last Tuesday night. Well, congratulations to Vic. I'm sure, like, a lot more, like, Hollywood honchos are going to be ringing up your phone. So we've got a great race card. As we kick off the official second week of racing, the standings already heating up for leading jockey and trainer rights. But nine races to get underway. Let's take a look at the track and weather conditions. They're off. Okay, by Sia breaks well, so does Proud Dixie. At the rail, run along is close up. Kalispell's in the center. Sister Can and a Friend of Liberty. And between horses now, okay, by Sia drops back to last. So they run up the back stretch, and Sullivan's GG and run along are right together. And run along's ahead in front. Sullivan's GG is second by a length and a half. Friend of Liberty moves through at the rail, and Friend of Liberty is next. And it's pretty foggy out there around that far turn. We'll let him run a little ways till we tell you that Run Along is just in front of Sullivan's GG in second. Friend of Liberty is still right at the rail in third. Okay, by Sia has moved up to fourth, and they run towards the top of the stretch, and Sullivan's GG will emerge with a short lead. Sister Can is running in the middle of the racetrack and moving up in the red. Meanwhile, Friend of Liberty is riding the rail into contending position, and Sister Can is moving up strongly. Friend of Liberty going to split horses now, and it looks like it's these two to the final 16th and Friend of Liberty emerges and now has a two length lead. Sister Can is a second then comes OK by Sia. Friend of Liberty, Sister Can OK by Sia. Friend of Liberty. Friend of Liberty won by almost six in the end, maybe five and a half. Sister Can and OK by Sia close for second, maybe sister. They're at the post. They're off. Ghostly again breaks beautifully, goes for the front from New Mancha away in second. Wiley Kaioki breaks third. Then comes Nika Panya away in fourth at the rail go Tigers. Then comes Diaz Bling and Crafty's Lil Sis. Crown Royal Queen only has two beat early. That's not so lovely. And Bint Setig. Up the back stretch with Ghostly again. Three quarters of a length in front of Wiley Kaioki, who tracks in second. New Mancha's third at the rail and about two from the front. Nika Panya has four lengths to make up. Then it's a length and a half to Diaz Bling. And Diaz Bling is moving up in the orange now within four of the front crown royal queen still has a long way to come about five off the lead followed by moving up between horses not so lovely and they run to the top of the stretch and diaz bling is passing horses with every stride new leader turning for home diaz bling but moving up on the outside is new mancha and not so lovely and not so lovely has emerged with the lead not so lovely runs by diaz bling and now leads by three to the outside and go tigers and ben Sedig, but not so lovely is clear to the wire not so lovely two in front of diaz bling in second maybe new mancha for third not so lovely not so lovely one by just better than two. Diaz Bling was second. New Mancha did get third. And Crafty's Lil Sis was fourth.
They're off. Very awkward start for Gumshoe. He's way last. Very fast start for Edgy, who can pick his path. He crosses and clears. Edgy is the early leader from Thunder Up Alley away in second. Hank's Alibi is third. Officer Griggs away fourth. Then comes Spots Back and in, on the inside, Mr. Atomic. Switchback Creek has about four beat. They are a Delta Chance who leaves the backstretch with three beat. Then to the outside and JP of Galilee and desperately last, it's Gumshoe and the leader is Edgy. Edgy around the far turn, a two-length lead on Thunder Up Alley who continues to gallop in second. Anks Alibi now is going to move through and take second and here's Anks Alibi to move up. Then to the outside and Officer Griggs, he's got four to make up and rallying from the back of the pack comes Kiowa Can and they run to the top of the stretch, Edgy and Hanks Alibi. Edgy leads a half length. Hanks Alibi has every chance to get by then it's three and a half back to Switchback Creek who moves up into third and here's Hank's alibi to take over the lead. Edgy battles right back at him. These two are about to be joined by JP of Galilee who flies. Hank's alibi, JP of Galilee, Hank's alibi wins. Hank's alibi held off an on-rushing JP of Galilee. Edgy finished third and fourth with Switchback Creek. There's never been a more convenient wagering service than Oaklawn Anywhere. Because for Arkansas residents, it really is Oaklawn Anywhere. Wherever you are, you can watch and wager on thoroughbred horse racing from any smartphone, laptop, or tablet anywhere. Visit oaklawnanywhere.com for more details and get a $150 bonus when you sign up. Best of all, Oaklawn Anywhere is a free service with no subscription fees. Oaklawn Anywhere, the exclusive online wagering service for Arkansas residents. Let's go back to that little place where we used to go in the summer days. Do -do -do -do. Find this place at hotsprings.org. Racing fans, on-track wagering just got more fun and more profitable with Oakland's exclusive new show bet bonus. Because we're now awarding bigger payouts for all winning show tickets. That means more money in your pocket. And when you bet the show bet bonus, you get the highest payouts in America when your horse finishes first, second, or third. Get the winning edge with the new show bet bonus at Oakland. It's the best way to have fun, and it's only at Oakland. Silk's Bar & Grill inside Oaklawn Gaming is Hot Springs' newest destination for great food, drink, and entertainment. Open for lunch and dinner plus a late night bar menu, Silk's was voted Arkansas Times best new bar in Arkansas. Silk's features free live music every Friday and Saturday night, and with more than 30 big screen TVs, it's the perfect place to catch your favorite game and experience our signature Silk's Burger. Oaklawn, Arkansas's favorite place to play. They're off. Never hung over breaks best. Exquisite bling away in second. Make amends is third with double first at the rail and between horses goes Cherry Lane. Then to the outside and on my toes, followed by Simply Great, and the early trailer is Awesome Boss. Make Amends moves inside of Exquisite Bling, and Make Amends will lead by a neck. Exquisite Bling is second by two lengths to Cherry Lane, racing in third. 
Then at the rail, double first is fourth in the wide and about four from the front. On my toes moves up outside of never hung over. Simply great is in a tight spot between horses. Those four across the track and about four from the front. And Awesome Boss is traveling well at the rail. And here's Awesome Boss to go from last all the way up into fourth. Awesome Boss moving nicely up the back stretch and now within two and a half of the lead. Meanwhile, Make Amends and Exquisite Bling are still one, two. Cherry Lane is closer now in fourth. Jock just looked over his right shoulder. He's got good striking position and a length and a half from the front. Awesome Boss continues to catch the eye. He draws at the rail and two from the lead. Simply Great is all in in fourth. Then to the outside and it never hung over. On My Toes has ten to come and double first is the trailer and they round the far turn. Make Amends has put away Exquisite Bling. At the quarter mile marker, Make Amends leads. Now Sim Awesome Boss moves into second. Short stretch here. Make Amends going to try to hold off Awesome Boss who rallies at the rail. Make Amends reaches for the wire. Awesome Boss alongside and these two shoulder to shoulder. Awesome Boss, Make Amends. Who wants to win it? Make Amends, Awesome Boss. Right together, Make Amends. Good race, boys. Awesome Boss and Make Amends. Make Amends beat it and won it. Awesome Boss was second a long way back to exquisite bling for third. They're off. Devilish Reason breaks well. So does She's Lethal. She's a corker in First Heritage. These four are quickest. Bless Jessica R. Read the Queen's Notes and Skylar Be Dancing are next. Then Sheridan's Bling and Myrna Ann. And the early trailer is Locust Bayou. It is First Heritage to ride the rail to a short lead. She's Lethal going to challenge, though, from three wide position. And there goes She's Lethal all the way up to head First Heritage. New leader, She's Lethal. A length and a half to Devilish Reason. She's a corker is fourth at the rail and three from the front. Then it's two and a half lengths back to Skylar B. Dancing and Read the Queen's Notes. They both have about five lengths to make up. Another two and a half to Bless Jessica R. And just outside of her, it's Devilish Reason. And then it's a five length back gap back to Sheridan's Bling and far back to Locust Bayou as they run into the far turn. She's lethal just in front of First Heritage. These two pretty much even, leaving the back stretch short stretch here as they head for home. Then it's a length and a half too. Devilish Reason on the outside moved up to third now and here's Devilish Reason in with a good chance. She's a corker, comes under a ride. Sheridan's Bling is behind horses. She's the gray, but if she gets through, could get a piece of it and they round the far turn and and Devilish Reason is traveling best. Devilish Reason at the quarter mile marker is the new leader. She's now two lengths in front of She's a Corker in second. Then to the outside, and Myrna's Anne, and they come to the final furlong with Devilish Reason, a clear leader from She's a Corker and First Heritage. Devilish Reason, First Heritage, She's a Corker. Devilish Reason wins. Devilish Reason won by two. First Heritage was a second. A late run from Locust Bayou to get third. Close for fourth between She's a Corker and Read the Queen's Notes. I firmly believe that any man's finest hour, the greatest fulfillment of all that he holds dear, is that moment when he has worked his heart out in a good cause and lies exhausted on the field of battle, victorious. At West Rock Coffee, we celebrate the determination and spirit of the people of Rwanda who help us make the finest coffee in the world. 
Trejo's serves Hot Springs' best Mexican food from locations on Albert Pike and Central Avenue seven days a week. Customers enjoy fresh tortillas made in-house daily, amazing margaritas, and a wide variety of dishes made with the freshest ingredients. Come in and ask for our Oaklawn special. In a hurry? Get it to go. Having a fiesta, Trejo's can cater your event, large or small. We hope to see you soon at Trejo's. The beat goes on. Twist Hill Hog Wild in the No Double. Over $6.5 million in purse earnings for registered Arkansas breads in 2016. Walter Dela Cruz buys five in the end with Mays Road by two and a half. Second card. Five $100,000 stakes. But the champion of the Rainbow Miss is seeking Angel. $7,000 in purse incentives for Arkansas breads that finish first, second, or third in open company. Two turns, you bet. We still by two and a half. Second, Mallard Pro, third, Mean Bone, and Back Porch Grill is owned and operated by the Charles Jennings family for over 15 years. Charles, a proud horse owner, mans the grill himself and uses only Black Angus hand-cut steaks. They serve a variety of seafood, pastas, and signature appetizers in addition to amazing cocktails. After dinner, head up to Martinis on the Bay. You never know who you might see. Back Porch Grill located just minutes from Oaklawn Park on Central Avenue, accessible on Lake Hamilton. They're at the post. They're off. Terrible start for Fervent. Classic bow breaks well. So does Dreamin' and Liquor Account. Galadea's close up. Distinctly mine and Greek life in the firing line as well. Then Larissa's love. Fervent recovers to be third last. And the trailer up the back stretch is Wilhelmina. So it's uh, Liquor Account just in front from Dreamin' and Classic Bow three wide. Inside three posts lead into the far turn. And Liquor Account's ahead in front. Dreamin' is second. No excuses for Classic Bow. In perfect position for Ty Kennedy and a length and a half from the front. A gala day moves through at the rail, two from the lead. Then comes Greek Life. The whiff is out on Larissa's Love, six lengths to make up. Then Distinctly Mind and Cotton Club Cutie, Willamania, and Fervent is the trailer. And here comes a gala day to split horses and come on. Classic bow, no response is backed out. And a gala day is the leader past mid stretch, and it's a solid lead, two and a half lengths. Larissa's Love in the center charges and Willamania down at the rail, but a gala day gets the jump at the 16th pole, and a gala day is home. Willamania looks like she'll get second to gala day in front. A gala day won by two. Willamania did get second. Distinctly mine was third, and Greek Life fourth. They're at the post. They're off. Atlantic Slough broke well. So did Roller Babe. Sweet Abigail is close up. So is Lucky Ann. Then comes to the outside and Borealis Beauty, followed by Dee's Baby and Prada Has Bling. The two trailers up the back stretch are Blue Mermaid, and the trailer is Dame Wicked. So they run past the half mile pole and the leader is Sweet Abigail and she sprints clear. Sweet Abigail two lengths in front from Atlantic Slough who begins to run after her in second. Roller Babe is third but not for long because Borealis Beauty is moving up three wide and there goes Borealis Beauty into third and she's traveling well a whole lot better than Lucky Ann at this point who is fourth and three from the lead. Then Prada has Bling two back to D's Baby and Blue Mermaid and they run to the top of the stretch 
Atlantic Slough is the one to beat. And Borealis Beauty has a chance to do it. Atlantic Slough, final furlong, only a length. Borealis Beauty continues to try to run her down. It's down to these two. Atlantic Slough, three quarters. Borealis Beauty continues to close. This is going to be close. Borealis Beauty, Atlantic Slough. Here's Borealis Beauty to win. Wasn't that close. Borealis Beauty won by two. Atlantic Slough was second. Lucky and third. Sweet Al Abigail finished fourth. Appreciate it, man. I'm a big fan. Me too. This one goes out to a couple of friends of mine. When cold refreshment calls, Coors Light answers. Frost Brewed Coors Light, the world's most refreshing beer. Racing fans, on track wagering just got more fun and more profitable with Oakland's exclusive new show bet bonus. Because we're now awarding bigger payouts for all winning show tickets. That means more money in your pocket. And when you bet the show bet bonus, you get the highest payouts in America when your horse finishes first, second, or third. Get the winning edge with the new show bet bonus at Oaklaw. It's the best way to have fun, and it's only at Oaklaw. hotsprings.org. There's never been a more convenient wagering service than Oaklawn Anywhere. Because for Arkansas residents, it really is Oaklawn Anywhere. Wherever you are, you can watch and wager on thoroughbred horse racing from any smartphone, laptop, or tablet anywhere. Visit oaklawnanywhere.com for more details and get a $150 bonus when you sign up. Best of all, Oaklawn Anywhere is a free service with no subscription fees. Oaklawn Anywhere, the exclusive online wagering service for Arkansas residents. They're off. She's a Bootsy, too, was shuffled back badly. She's last early. Goats Zadler and Fiddler's Tsunami go for the front to the outside end to Danita's Ruler. Next, it's Modify, followed by Zafikel and Too Much Prada. She's a Bootsy, too, trying to advance, but she's a well out of it, and the early trailer up the backstretch is Hailstorm Slew, and the leader is Ghost Dazzler. Ghost Dazzler in front by a length and a half from Dunita's Ruler, who runs up outside and takes over second from Fiddler's Tsunami, who's now back in third. Zafikel and Modify have four lengths to make up. She's a Bootsy, too. Advances at the rail. Could get into fourth soon. If she wins it, she's a half an hour the best. Three lengths further back, too to the outside and a hailstorm slew and they run to the top of the stretch and here comes Danita's ruler. Danita's ruler off the top of the turn has taken over the lead from Ghost Zapper, Ghost Dazzler, then comes She's a Bootsy 2 in the center of the track. Hailstorm slew is closing nicely. Danita's ruler trying to hold off Hailstorm slew and it will not be easy. Danita's ruler, Hailstorm slew to the outside, Hailstorm slew in time. Hailstorm Slew beat Danita's ruler. She's a Bootsy too, an unlucky third, and Ghost Dazzler was fourth. They're off. 
Our hidden treasure broke very well. Recapitulation is away sharply as well. McCurdy between horses. These three are quickest. Glorious Summer and First Adapter with Valen Forever. Then it's a length and a half to Chucka, followed by Slew the Zodiac. And the early trailer up the backside is a slow starting little bit Irish. Past the half mile pole and the leader is our hidden treasure just a half length from recapitulation who's in a tight spot in second. A length and a half now less than that to McCurdy and here's McCurdy to be a joint second. He's on the move. First adapter and Valen forever have five lengths to make up. Chucka could still do it. White cap sixth and five from the front. Gloria Summer drops back then to the outside and a dart toss and they run to the top of the stretch many chances and on the center of the track it is McCurdy he and Valen Forever are challenging and Valen Forever has now taken over the lead it is Valen Forever just in front in the center is a charge from Cap's Tail and here comes Cap's Tail outside of Valen Forever these two Cap's Tail puts that in front Valen Forever is a second a little bit Irish Cap's Tail wins Cap's tail beat Valen forever by a length and a half. Very close for a third between Little Bit Irish and First Adapter. A great nine race card under our belt, but we had a, some really good, well deserved days off. Vic, this was your first real time in the Spa City. What did you get to do? I did what any network big shot would do my laundry, clean the house, which was pathetic. I've never cleaned a house. I don't know how to do that. But I did do one thing, Nance, that I loved, and that is I had dinner last night at the Back Porch Grill. And I know they're one of our sponsors. And we would say that it was great, even if it wasn't. But I can tell you that it was really great. Race trackers there. I got to meet Danny Caldwell, one of our premier owners. And I will tell you, if you don't go to the back porch, porch grill, you're making a big mistake. Great place to eat. You heard it right there, folks. And I will attest, have the bread pudding. It is delish. We will join you right here again tomorrow for the Oaklawn Today Show. For Vic Stoffer, I'm Nancy Holtis. We'll see you next time.